guys, your girl Ayana Sabri, and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how I achieve my eyebrows. So I really hope y'all enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's get straight to it. Okay, y'all. So the first thing I like to do is to go in and brush my eyebrows down. So I know y'all can see mine aren't that bushy, so it just takes a few seconds. So the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil and I use the color dark brown. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna like, do a underline of my eyebrow. And it's okay if this isn't perfect because you're gonna go in at the end with your concealer. Then you just do the same thing on the other side. Okay, next thing. When you shade in your eyebrows, I like to start from back to front. So back here is obviously going to be the darkest and here is going to be the lightest. So you're just going to go in and start shading. Now usually I start off kind of light and then just kind of build. Are you telling me you just sitting here watching my video and you ain't liked it yet? You ain't commented yet? You ain't subscribed yet? Alright. I'm gonna let you get back to the video. Okay, so now that we got like this little rough draft going, I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm using the color Fawn today. And then you're gonna take a small angle brush to do it with. So I'm just gonna start by putting some on the brush. And for some reason, I always like to start on my left side. So, here we go. So, I like to start in the angle of it because I feel like that's really what sets the whole brow. So, I'm just going to go in. And I like to start a little bit lower because you don't want to go in and then half your eyebrows gone. So, just gonna go in and you're gonna start creating your curve. And then you want to bring down any of the excess concealer because you don't want it all to stay right there. We're going to blend it out later. You don't want it to dry right there because if you do, it's just going to be a little bit harder to blend it in afterwards. Thank you. 
And when I do this, I like to use somewhat of a generous amount of the concealer. So there's a distinct line and difference between your skin and the brow. And each time I go in, I'm slightly going up and up. So these, this right here can connect. Okay, so now that we've done underneath with the first brow, we're going to go into the second brow and do the exact same thing. Before you go in with your beauty blender, make sure that it's wet. It's really important that it's a wet beauty blender so it can blend. So all of that product you pull down you're just going to be blending that out. You want to get as close to the brow as you can, but you don't want to go into your brow because then you'll just mess up your whole lining. So for the top part, I like to use my Fenty foundation to go in just so it's more like my skin tone. So the lighter part goes at the bottom and the darker portion more towards your skin tone goes at the top. So I'm gonna be using the same angle brush. You wanna wipe it off just so it doesn't really mix. And then you're just gonna use kind of like the line that you did underneath it as a guide to how you want the top to be. We're just gonna go on the other side and do the same thing. When you're doing the concealer, you wanna make them kind of touch. I mean, as far as the concealer, not your brows. But I actually used to, like when I would draw my brows, I would like draw them and like make them align. And then at the end, I would just blend it out. I mean, that's how I started, but once you get to kind of know your brows, you'll see, you'll just see like they'll line up on its own. Now, the last part, I like my eyebrows in the inner corner to be a little faded. So I just take my spoolie and then just kind of play with it. Now I'm doing this very, very wet because I don't want it to get where I have my concealer and then I just have it all over the place. Now, if it does get somewhere like you don't want it, you can just use your beauty blender as like an eraser. Kind. Okay, y'all, so that is how I achieve my brows. I really hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. As y'all can see, 
My eyebrows are not exactly identical and they don't have to be. Despite what a lot of people say, eyebrows do not have to be exactly the same. Mostly no one's eyebrows are exactly the same. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but like this one has like kind of a higher curve than this one. This one's more so like kind of chilling. But I mean, either way, I think they both still look good as a unit. And yeah, I actually have another video coming up that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to apply lashes. So please stay tuned for that. Really hope y'all enjoyed this video again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in my next video.